What is justice is a concept that has got different interpretations. What we, with a larger light, understand under modern justice is uh, the multiple struggles um, that look for how to fight against four layers of injustices. First of all, uh, the lack of participation of people in government's decision making. Representation of justice. Second, the problem of um, distribution, allocation, lack of equality in distributing water and water related resources. Next, there is the problem of the non recognition of cultural frameworks of local people, indigenous populations, peasant communities. So, the issue of recognition, cultural justice. And fourth, there is the element of intergenerational sustainability, socio-ecological integrity. So the four components of injustices uh, relate to struggles over uh, justice, relate to conflicts, and we want to understand conflict just beyond the uh, conflict that relate to distributional uh, quarrels, um, distributional uh, fights, because uh, what injustices are not just related to distribution, to water quality, water quantity distribution, they are also related to misrecognition, they are also related to discrimination in water governance, they are also related to non-participation, they are also related to uh, destruction of nature. So really water justice relates to a multiple, multi-layered concept of struggles for uh, fighting for a better future in water governance. Locally, nationally, internationally, globally, as different layers. We therefore understand water conflicts far beyond just conflicts over water or water related resources. Yes, at the first level, we see that there is struggle over the resources water, infrastructure, finances, etc. Important to investigate. But at the second level, as important is the struggle over the rules, the rights, the norms that define the laws that define how the resources are flowing. So it's an interrelated layer, but it's not about wet water, it's, about, it's not about liquid water, it's about intellectual water, it's about normative water, it's about the water in our heads, in our minds, how we think of water. It's about normative frameworks. Then, at a third level of abstraction, we see the struggle of who decides about those rights, who decides about those norms, who decides about uh, the laws. So it's a struggle of authority. Yeah. And at the fourth level, we see the struggle over discourses. Regimes of representation, truth regimes, worldviews. Uh, so at that level, the authority is being made legitimate, justified. The authority that determines the rules that are set in place, that are set in motion, the rules that make water and resources flow. So it's an interrelated, multi-layered, four-layered uh, echelons of rights which we have to analyze in order to understand conflicts.